let's start yes but do you know which book we are acha pata hai laws of nature okay oh hari krishna ji ashwini prabhu ji okay sorry ओम ज्ञान देवनंदनाशलाख्या चक्षुन तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चेतन स्थापित मैं भूतले स्वरूप पदिकम वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री तपद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णव श्री रूप सागर जात सागर गुनाथ वितम तम सजीव साधवेत सवधूतम सैजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदान सागर नित शिव शक वित हे कृष्ण नमा विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रश्नाय भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी पुजारी निर्विशेष सुन्यवादीपासण हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गौपेश गोपेकांत नमस्ते तप्त कंचन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभान सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंच कल्पतरूस कृपा सिंधु एव च स्वामी भक्ति above the lowly beasts yet it seems that when he applies his reason to unlocking the secrets of nature for his benefit he sinks deeper and deeper into quagmire of intractable problems the internal combustion engine gets us where we are going faster but also results in choking air pollution the greenhouse effect and a dangerous dependence on oil harnessing the atom gives us cheap energy but also leads to weapons of mass destruction chernobyl and a rising tide of dangerous radioactive waste modern agri business produces a dizzying variety and abundance of food at the supermarket but also results in the death of the family farm the pollution of groundwater the loss of precious top soil and many other problems it is clear we are missing oh sorry prabhu ji go ahead <laughs> उपनिषद everything in this creation is owned and controlled by the lord one should therefore accept only those things necessary for himself which are set aside as his quota and one should not accept other things knowing well to whom they belong okay. anushka mantri hari krishna prabhu in nature we see this principle at work nature's arrangement set up by the lord maintains the birds and beasts the elephant eats his 50 kilos per day the ant his few grains if man doesn't interfere the natural balance sustains all the creatures deepa prabhu this prabhu ji any agriculturist will tell you the earth can produce enough food to feed 10 times the present human population yet political intrigues and wars unfair distribution of land the production of cash crops like tobacco tea and coffee instead of food and erosion due to misuse ensure that millions go hungry even in wealthy country like the united states hmm. 
we must understand the laws of nature from the viewpoint of Supreme Lord, who has created these laws. In his eyes, all the earth's inhabitants, whether creatures of the land, water, or air, are his sons and daughters. Yet we, the human inhabitants, the most smart creatures, treat these sons and daughters with great cruelty. From the practice of animal slaughter to destruction of the rainforest, is, is it any wonder that we suffer any unending series of natural disasters, wars, epidemics, famines, and the like? Hare Krishna. The source of our problem is a desire for sense gratification beyond the consideration of anyone else's right. These rights are the rights of the child in relation to the father. Every child has a right to share the wealth of his father. So creating a brotherhood of all creatures on our depends on understanding the universal, universal fatherhood of God. Yes, Navin Prasad. As we have seen, the Vedic literature declares that the Supreme Lord owns and controls the entire creation. Not a blade of grass moves without his sanction. He is the complete whole. Then what is our position? Just as a king is no king without subjects, God is no God without his servants. He is the supreme enjoyer, and we are meant to take part in his enjoyment through service to him, not by trying to enjoy separately. He is omnipotent and thus completely independent. Our minute independence is a tiny reflection of his total independence. It is our misuse of that minute independence and our attempt to enjoy separate from him that have resulted in our current predicament. Why do we misuse our independence? <clears throat> because we are ignorant of our real nature. The first le lesson of the Vedic wisdom is that we are not bodies, but rather spirit souls. Minute particles of consciousness dwelling within the body and animating it. Just as a car is a machine that allows a driver to travel from point A to point B, the body is a machine that allows the spirit soul to act and to experience sensations and thoughts within the Lord's material nature. When we understand our true identity as a spiritual beings, part and parcel of the Supreme Spirit God, we understand that we are meant to serve Him just as the hand or foot serves the whole body. Mm. Our problem, however, is that we forget our identity separate from the body and instead misidentify ourselves with it. With it. If a person happens to be born in America, he considers himself an American. If he is born in France, he considers himself a Frenchman, and so on. We also identify ourselves according to our sex, race, creed, social status, etc. But all these qualities apply only to the body, not the soul. Therefore, embra embracing them as our true identity causes us to forget the Lord and our relationship with Him, and to see ourselves as independent enjoyers of His material nature. Uh, sorry, yes, Roji. The Vedic literature explains that human activity, when devoid of service to the Lord, is governed by a subtle law known as the law of karma. This is the family law of action and reaction as it as it pertains to what we do in this world and the enjoyment or suffering we experience as a result. If I cause pain to another living being, then as surely as the wheel of life turns, I will be forced to suffer similar pain. And if I bring happiness to another, a like pleasure awaits me. At every second, with every breath, our activity in this material world causes enjoyment and suffering. To facilitate these endless action and reaction, there has to be more. There has to be more than just just one life. There has to be reincarnation. I'm still <laughs> sorry. Sorry. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Until recently, the idea of reincarnation, while universally accepted in India and other Eastern countries, had found few adherents in the West. The church banned the philosophy of reincarnation centuries ago. This is a long story dating as far back as the history of the early Christian church between 300 AD and 600 AD. 
Recounting this controversy is not within the scope of this book, but the denial of this important concept has left a void in the world view of the Western peoples. Hare Krishna. However, in the last decade, or so many thinkers in the West have begun to take the idea of reincarnation seriously. For example, Dr. Michael Sebaum of Emory University Medical School has written a book entitled Recollections of Death, a Medical Investigations, 1982, which details his studies confirming it out of the body experience reported by cardiac arrest patients. Sebaum writes, could the mind, which splits apart from the physical brain, be, in essence, the soul, which continues to exist after the final bodily death, according to some religious doctrines? Yes, uh, Rojit. And Dr. Ian Stevenson, a psychiatrist at the University of Virginia, in his book, 20 Cases Suggestive of Reincarnation, 1966, has documented and verified past life memories in young children. Other studies using such methods as hypnotic regression indicate that the idea of reincarnation has many soon gained acceptance among mainstream scientists in the West. The Vedic literature makes reincarnation of the soul a central feature in its explanation of human destiny. And the logic is obvious when we consider a simple question like the following, why is one child born to wealthy parents in the United States while another is born to starving peasants in Ethiopia? Only the doctrine of karma and reincarnation, reward and punishment carried over many lifetimes answers this question easily, the laws of nature. An infallible justice has been compiled primarily from, from two sources. The first is a series of talks given on the Shri Ishopanishad by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedan Swami Prabhupada. See the author, page 84, delivered in Los Angeles in the spring of 1970. These talks provide an illuminating account of how, how the universe really operates. The second source is Srila Prabhupada's commentated translation of Srimad Bhagavatam. From the third canto of this monumental work, we, are, we here reproduce chapter 30, titled Description by Lord Kapil of Adverse Fruitive Activities. In this section, we learn the fate of the sinful soul who transgresses the laws of law, God's nature and incurs punishment according to the law of karma. In one, in one of his Isho Upanishad talks, Srila Prabhupada says, if you do good work, you will have so-called enjoyment in your next life, but you will remain bound up by the cycle of birth and, birth and death. And if you do bad work, then you will have to suffer the sinful reactions and also remain bound up in birth and death. But if you work for Krishna, there are, there are no such reactions at the end. And at the time of death, you will return to Krishna. This is the only way to break the bonds of karma. Uh, and this is the only way for society as a whole to mitigate the suffering mentioned earlier. While we are in this world, there is no getting rid of suffering altogether. For as the Vedic teachings recognize, this material world is by nature a place of suffering. Ultimately, we are powerless in the midst of a vast array of natural forces. The hope, therefore, is to know, is to know and to follow the will of the Supreme Lord, the Master of Nature. Only in this way we can, in only in this way, can we transcend the laws of nature and the cycle of reincarnation and attain the perfection of life, love of God, and a place in His kingdom. So yes, we are. Starting with the chapter one, God and the law of karma. Yes, Kanda. Among the vast Asian Sanskrit writings known as the Vedas, the 108 Upanishads contains the philosophical essence, and among all the Upanishads, the Isha Upanishad is considered the foremost. In the following essay, based on talks Srila Prabhupada gave on the Isha Upanishad, in 1968, we learned the truth about the Supreme Law, the laws governing his material and spiritual energies, and how to break free of the bondage of karma. Hare Krishna. The Isha Upanishad states that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is perfect and complete. 
part of the large complete arrangement for this material world is, a, is this process of creation, maintenance, and destruction. Every living being in this material world has a fixed schedule of six changes birth, growth, maintenance, the production of byproducts, diminution, and destruction. This is the law of material nature. A flower is born as a bird. It grows, remains fresh for two or three days, produces a seed, gradually with, with us, and then is finished. You cannot stop this by your so-called material science. To try to do so is with their ignorance. Sometimes people foolishly think that by scientific advancement, become immortal. This is nonsense. He cannot stop the material laws. Therefore, the Bhagavad Gita 714, Lord Krishna says that the material energy is duratya, impossible to work. Material nature consists of three modes or gunas, sattva gun, rajogun, and tamogun, or the modes of goodness, passion, and ignorance. Another meaning of guna is rope. <clears throat> rope is made by twisting fiber in a threefold process. First, the fiber is twisted in three small strands, then three of them <coughs> are twisted together. Then again, three of those are twisted together. In this way, the rope becomes very strong. Similarly, the three modes of nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance are mixed, after which they produce some byproduct. Then they are mixed again and then again. Thus, they are twisted together innumerable times. In this way, the material energy binds you more and more. By your own efforts, you cannot get out of this bondage, which is known as Pavarga. Pa Pavarga is the fifth set of letters in the Sanskrit Devanagari alphabet. It contains the letters Pa, Pa, Bha, Bha, Ma. Pa stands for Parishram, hard, hard labor. Every living entity in this world is struggling very hard to maintain himself and survive. Deepak Guru, Yes, Proje, sorry. This is called the hard struggle for existence. Pa stands for Fena, form. When a horse works very hard, form comes out of its mouth. Similarly, when we are tired from working very hard, our tongue may become dry and some form forms in our mouth. Everyone is working very hard for sense gratification, so much so that form is coming from their mouth. Ba represents bandha, bondage. In spite of all our efforts, we remain bound up by the ropes of material modes of nature. Bha, bha stands for bhaya, fear. In material life, one is always in a blazing fire, fire of fear, since no one knows what will happen next and what will happen next. And ma represents mrityu, death. All our hopes and plans for happiness and security in this world are ended by death. Consciousness nullifies this Parvaka process. In other words, by taking to Krishna consciousness, one attains a Parvaka, where there is no hard struggle for existence and no material bondage, fear, or death. Parvaka symptomize the this material world, but when you add the prefix a uh, to Pavagra, that means it is nullified. Our Krishna consciousness movement is the path of a Upper Varga. Hare Krishna. Unfortunately, people do not know of these things and therefore they are wasting their lives. This modern civilization is a soul killing civilization. People are killing themselves because they do not know that what real life is. They are simply like they are simply living like animals. The animal does not know what the life is, so he simply works under the laws of nature undergoing gradual evolution. But when you get this human form of life, you have a responsibility to live in a different way. Here is a chance for you to become Krishna conscious, as conscious and solve all the problems. But if you don't, if you continue to act like animals, you will again have to, uh, again have to enter the cycle of birth and death and transmigrate to 84 like species of life. It will, take may, it will take many, many millions of years to come back to the human form of life. For example, the sunshine you are seeing, now you will not see again until after 24 hours. 
uh, everything in the nature moves in a cycle. So if you lose this opportunity of elevating yourself, then again you must enter the cycle of transmigration. Nature's law is very strong. Therefore, we are opening so many centers so that people may take advantage of this international society of Krishna consciousness and elevate themselves. Yes, Ruji. It is important to take Krishna consciousness immediately because we do not know how much time is left before death. When your time in this body expires, no one can stop your death. The arrangement of material nature is so strong, you cannot say let me in. Actually, people sometimes request like that. When I was in Allahabad, an old friend who was very rich was dying. At that time, he begged the doctor, can't you give me at least four more years to live? I have some plans which I could not finish. You see, this is foolishness. Everyone thinks, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. No, neither the doctor nor the scientist can check death. Oh, no, sir, not four years, not even four minutes. You have to go immediately. This is the law. So before that movement comes, one should be very careful to become realized in Krishna consciousness. You should uh, realize Krishna consciousness very quickly. Before your next death comes, you must finish your business. That is intelligence. Otherwise, you will suffer defeat. The Isha Upanishad states that whatever emanates from the complete whole, the Supreme Lord, is also complete in itself. Therefore, if you want to take advantage of your life and become Krishna conscious, there is complete facility. But you have to come to the point of taking up the practice. Krishna consciousness is not theoretical. It is practical. All experiments have already been performed. So as indicated in the Isha Upanishad, there is a complete facility for the small complete units ourselves to realize the supreme complete Krishna. We are complete units, but we are small. For example, in a big machine, there is a small screw and the perfection of that small screw is to, is to be fitted in its proper place. Then it will, has value. But if it becomes unscrewed from the machine and falls down on the floor, it has no value. Similarly, we are perfect as long as we are attached to Krishna. Otherwise, we are useless. Okay, so we will stop here for the day. We can start with the realizations and the learnings. Hare Krishna. Uh, so we can start from uh, Navin Prabhuji. Sure, Prabhuji. I mean, uh, thank you. Uh, there are many points to cover, Prabhuji. I'll just uh, talk about one point, uh, which is I really like um, uh, where, uh, you know, scientists are trying to expand their life. In fact, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, he has a company and uh, they are investing billions of dollars where they are trying to expand human life and uh, they still cannot do the immortality, but uh, they are investing billions and billions of dollars in that project. Uh, where they want to expand. Basically, their purpose is they want to make human immortal. Mm. And Prabhupada clearly saying, uh, you know, so many points where he's talking about like the mortality. Uh, so I, I was thinking uh, scientists, science, uh, you know, they are trying to do so many things, uh, the modern life and the, the, the one point where Prabhupada talked about uh, the before the modern culture and technology and everything, the things, the nature. Actually, if you see, if you don't do anything, the nature is 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 very good in itself. It will recover. It will you know balance everything. If we just don't do anything, yes, really. the fact that we are doing things uh, is is and we are doing things in a way uh, which is uh, uh, not thoughtful. And uh, so you know. Uh, so in America, I don't know in India, but in America, I mean, the Red Indians, they are the original native of the US before the Britishers came, right? And even before them, so there used to be, I forgot the name, the colony. So these ancient uh, native Indians, in their culture, before they make, accept anything new, they will wait for six to 700 years. So it's not like anything you introduce and they accept it or, you know, so it's so much time, six to 700 years of time they were waiting. They wait before they accept. So because they want to make sure it's not uh, dangerous to the, their ecosystem or, uh, or the mother earth. So in that sense, nowadays you don't wait, right? For example, the vaccine thing, 
also we we don't know anything but uh, you take it okay first two vaccine done now booster take it <laughs> i'm not against this but i'm saying and of course today so called we are uh, modern and uh, are able to do things faster compared to initial days but if you go back 5000 or 6000 years back that uh, if the, the whole technology was so much right developed we, there was uh, they had plans they had everything you can imagine so in that sense there is not much difference uh, but uh, yes prabhu ji this is a whole uh, prabhupada like it's, it's a, the whole civilization is Uh, it's you know the, the way we are dealing for is doom the only hope is uh, i whenever i read opa's books and the the the, the, the purpose i i just feel like this is the only hope for us that that's my realization yeah and somehow or other uh, we are not able to come out of this bodily conception i mean it's not like a, i'm any different from any outsider those who are not devotee i mean i'm also uh into this a uh, lot of politics uh, unfortunately i follow politics i follow this uh, whole uh, new thing going on in india hijab thing right and uh, so it's still right but it's again bodily identification so yeah and indian american uh, caste so yeah it it's not easy but uh, at least being uh, in shelter of prabhupad hopefully you know by mercy of uh, uh, and by the way today is lord nityananda appearance day so a happy appearance day lord nityananda appearance day and the, our biggest hope is prabhupada and lord nityananda lord nityananda is so merciful he lived, you know he he is so so merciful he uh yeah i mean he is more merciful than lord chitanya i don't want to go in the another discussion but yeah maybe we can talk about that another time thank you prabhu ji really very informative uh, realizations you have told information to आप सही कह रहे हो नेचर खुद खुद मेंटेन कर लेती है कोरोना का तो आप पूरे वर्ल्ड ने एग्जांपल देख लिया है सब <laughs> और इतना पॉल्यूशन और सब चीजें होती थी और सब ने एकदम एकदम ही कंट्रोल हुआ है सब नेचर ने सब वापस रिवर्स गियर मारा था थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू दीपक प्रभु यस प्रभु जी मुझे वो पॉइंट अच्छा लगा था जहाँ पूपा जी बता रहे थे कि आ, हमें मतलब हैप्पीनेस और मतलब सुख दुख दोनों से ही ऊपर उठना है तो वो चीज़ तो जैसे मैंने सुनी भी है लेक्चर में कि आ, हमें आ, सुख की भी चिंता नहीं इस मेटेरियल में सुख भी नहीं ढूंढना है कि हम हैप्पीनेस के पीछे पड़ जाएं कि बस उसको लिए मतलब उसके पीछे ही पड़ जाए कि हमें हैप्पीनेस चाहिए एंड सेकेंड एक क्वेश्चन भी था अगर इफ अश्विन प्रभु जी कैन आंसर और एनी अदर सीनियर डिवोटी कैन आंसर Uh, जैसे कि प्रूपा जी बताते हैं कि हमें uh, तीनों जो मोड्स ऑफ नेचर रहते हैं मोड्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस एंड मोड्स ऑफ फैशन एंड मोड्स ऑफ गुडनेस तो मोड्स ऑफ गुडनेस में uh, क्या प्रॉब्लम है जस्ट प्रूपा जी से बोलते हैं कि हमें तीनों जैसे भगवत भगवान भी भगवत गीता में बोलते हैं कि अर्जुन uh, तीनों गुणों से ऊपर उठना है मतलब मनुष्य को तीनों गुणों से ऊपर उठ, उठ, उठना चाहिए तो वाई दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्या है मोड ऑफ गुडनेस की मोड ऑफ मतलब सात्विक जैसे कि हम मतलब मोड ऑफ गुडनेस लाइक अकॉर्डिंग टू वैदिक प्रिंसिपल मतलब जो भी शास्त्रों में लिखा है उसके हिसाब से करना हाँ, उसमें वही है कि जैसे आपने मोड ऑफ गुडनेस में सब काम अच्छे कर रहे हैं आप किसी को हार्म नहीं कर रहे हैं आप दान पुण्य यज्ञ को भोज करा रहे हैं सारी सेवा कर रहे हैं मनुष्य सेवा कर रहे हैं मनुष्य जीव जंतु सारी सेवा कर रहे हैं लेकिन अगर हम उसमें मोर ऑफ गुडनेस में सब सारे नियमावली कर रहे हैं तो हम उससे लेकिन फिर भी हमें उसके हैवली प्लांट्स मिल बन, मिल जाएंगे हो सकता है ब्रह्मा इंद्र बन जाए हो सकता है और अच्छे करें तो वन डे यू डू कम ब्रह्मा आल्सो बट स्टिल दैट विल नॉट टेक यू टू द कृष्णा तो वो बैक दैट इज नॉट द क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर द गो बैक टू द गोलक वृंदावन और स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड the mode of goodness or mode of ignorance this is still you are bound by the mode to wo jab tak hum devotional service nahi lete hain jab tak hum karma ka yahi jo bataya na acha karm bura karm wo aapko aap acha karm karenge to bhi uske liye bhi aapko janm lena padega ho sakta hai plant pe lena pade bura karm karenge to ho sakta lower plant pe lena pade but jab tak karm ka cycle rahega wo 
चलता रहेगा और टू कम आउट ऑफ दैट ओनली ऑप्शन इज एक्सेप्टिंग कृष्णा एंड डिवोशन सर्विस एंड आई होप आई आंसर यस एंड प्रो भी जो प्रोपा जी कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस के बारे है तो वो वो हमें तीनों मोर्चे ऊपर उठाता है ना कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस में एग्जैक्टली करेक्ट यस एंड मोड ऑफ गुडनेस व्हाई इट इज इंपोर्टेंट अभी आप ऐसे भक्त भी देखेंगे बहुत सारे जो हर मोड में रहेंगे आपको आपको भक्त भी मिलेंगे मोड ऑफ फैशन में मोड ऑफ गुडनेस बट स्टिल वो भक्त हैं लेकिन राइट right, तो वो एक चीज है और मोड का हमेशा रहेगा देर आर परमोटेशन इतने सारे परमोटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन हम लोग उसमें दिमाग भी नहीं लगा सकते तो वो वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम है बट पॉइंट इज की जस्ट बींग मीन मोड ऑफ गुडनेस इज नॉट इनफ कितने सारे अच्छे लोग हैं आई नो अ पर्सन हु गेट्स अप एट फोर ओ क्लॉक एवरी डे मेरे ऑफिस का बंदा है चार बज के काम करता है मोड ऑफ गुडनेस उठता है देखिए <laughs> लेकिन क्या भगवान के लिए क्या कर रहा है नथिंग डूइंग यस यस प्रो जी मेरे ऑफिस में भी एक साढ़े चार जोड़ते हैं यस थैंक यू प्रो जी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू यू वेलकम यस जी लास्ट में एक पॉइंट वो वाला बहुत अच्छा लगा था मुझे जो स्क्रू से स्क्रू वाला एग्जांपल दिया था प्रोपा जी ने कि मशीन में एक स्क्रू है अगर वो अपनी प्लेस पे है तो वो परफेक्ट है लेकिन तभी उसकी वैल्यू है लेकिन अगर वो मशीन से सेपरेट हो जाएगा तो उसकी वैल्यू नहीं है ऐसे ही हमारे साथ है कि जब तक हम अटैच है कृष्णा से तब तक सब परफेक्ट है सब ठीक है लेकिन जैसे ही वो स्क्रू की तरह अगर हम ऐसे ही फॉल डाउन हो जाता है तो फिर हम हमारा भी होना यहाँ पे यूजलेस है बट उसकी अहमियत जब पता चलती है जब वो हमें कहीं लगाना होता है <laughs> तो जब इसी तो उसकी भी अहमियत है हमारी भी हम यूजलेस ऐसा आपने बोला ना बहुत अच्छा पॉइंट बोला हम दुनिया की नजरों में भी अगर हम भगवान से कनेक्टेड हैं तो हमारी वैल्यू है नहीं तो हम फेंक दिए जाते हैं सही बात है यस मेरा रियलाइजेशन ये है कि मतलब नीड वांट्स डिजायर तीन चीजें होती हैं तो अगर हम नीड्स पे काम करते हैं तो मेरे को लगता है कि तो मतलब अगर हम भक्ति में हैं और हमें नीड्स पे काम करना चाहिए अगर हम वॉन्ट और डिजायर पे जाते हैं तो वो कुछ नहीं वो इट विल लीड मतलब ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल लीड यू टू सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन तो हमें बेसिक नीड्स या फिर नीड्स पे रहना चाहिए और अगर हम कुछ मतलब और कुछ बड़ा भी करना चाह रहे हैं अगर हम वॉन्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग वी डिजायर डिजायर ऑफ समथिंग मेटलिस्टिक देन वी शुड एंगेज दैट इन द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्णा मतलब अगर अब कोई बिजनेस मैन है वो वेल्थ एक्यूमलेट करना चाह रहा है तो हाँ वो करे अच्छी बात है बट दैट कृष्णा शुड बी द सोल पर्पज अदरवाइज बाकी सबकी अपनी कैपेसिटी होती है इफ़ नॉट इफ समन इज नॉट एवर टू गेट दैट मच ऑफ वेल्थ तो ट्राई टू मेंटेन योर सेल्फ ऑन एट द लेवल ऑफ नीड नीड्स ओनली तो वो भक्ति में करना वो भक्ति प्रोसेस में फिर मतलब वो इजी रहेगा थोड़ा अदरवाइज अननेसेसरी हार्ड वर्क करना पड़ेगा और जैसे प्रोपात भी कह रहे हैं ना कि एग्री मतलब इस धरती में अर्थ में इतना कैपेसिटी है कि वो टेन टाइम्स ज़्यादा प्रोड्यूस कर सकती है फॉर द फॉर द ह्यूमन फॉर इफ दे वॉन्ट सिंपल गुड फूड लेकिन वो टबैको टी रबड़ कॉफी इन सब चीजों को चेक कर में वो जो जो लैंड है वो डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाती है उसकी फर्टिलिटी डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाती है बिकॉज वो ह्यूमन जो है ना वो वॉन्ट इज आयर से ऊपर वो ग्रीड पे भी चला गया है तो डेट इज द रीजन तो भक्ति में वी नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ डैट थ्रू आवर एक्शन की हम कहाँ पे हैं हम कहीं अपनी हम ज्यादा डिजायर तो नहीं कर रहे क्या कुछ ऐसा तो अफोर्ड नहीं कर रहे मतलब कर रहे हैं जिसके लिए हम जो हमें लग रहा है कि नीड से ऊपर है उसके क्योंकि अननेसेसरी हार्डवर्क भी आएंगे हार्ड वगैरह तो फिर मतलब भक्ति में थोड़ा अब टाइम कम दोगे तो फिर वो ये डिवोशन सर्विस में प्रोग्रेस स्लो हो जाएगी येट स्टेट्स ऑल फ्रॉम माय साइड एनीथिंग एनीवन वांट्स टू ऐड नहीं प्रभु जी आपने काफी अच्छा बोला अगेन ये वे थोड़ा सा यहां पर ये ऐसा टॉपिक है ना जो आपने बताया नीड्स और उसमें यहाँ पर बहुत मैच्योरिटी दिखानी पड़ती है और हमें थोड़ा सा गाइडेंस लेने की जरूरत होती है क्योंकि कई बार हम लोग अपने आप उसे इसमें कहीं चीजों को मतलब मैं जनरलाइज नहीं कर रहा हूँ बट इसमें होता क्या है कि कई बार हम इसको समझ नहीं पाते तो इसीलिए गुरु शिक्षा गुरु और उनसे थोड़ा सा हमें इस थोड़ा सा गाइडेंस की जरूरत रहती है कई बार हम आर्टिफिशियल ही उसमें आ जाते हैं रिनंसिएशन बोलना चाहिए 
तो हमें इसमें अपना थोड़ा सा वो देखने की जरूरत रहती है कि हमारी खुद की क्या नेचर है हमारी क्या प्रवृत्ति है और उसी हिसाब से हम अपने आप को एंगेज करें एंड लाइक यू सेट यस हमें गधे की तरह नहीं बनना है काम करना है कि भाई पैसे कमाने के लिए पंद्रह पंद्रह सोलह सोलह घंटे हम लगे हुए हैं हाँ अगर भगवान की सेवा के लिए करना पड़ रहा है तो बिल्कुल करना पड़ेगा अगर मंदिर के सपोर्ट करने के लिए किसी को ऐसे हमारे कई डिवोटी हैं प्रभुपात के डिसाइपल रहे हैं जिन्होंने काम किया है उस समय मूवमेंट को सपोर्ट करने के लिए दे वर्क फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन आवर्स तो देट्स डिफरेंट आई देट्स ऑल्सो सर्विस फॉर कृष्णा बट यस नॉट फॉर अवर ओन ग्रेटिफिकेशन टू मेंटेन अवर सोसाइट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग कि हाँ भाई हमारे को एक स्टेटस मेंटेन करना है और उसके लिए फिर घरे की तरह हम सुबह छह बजे से उठ के रात के ग्यारह बजे तक काम कर रहे हैं हो ना और वो आपने बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट कहा कि मतलब गाइडेंस में कर रहे हैं जो भी करें ना जी 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 ये कुछ ऐसे टॉपिक्स है ना यहाँ पर थोड़ा गाइडेंस लेना वैसे तो भक्ति में हमें हर चीज में अपने शिक्षा गुरु और उन सबकी गाइडेंस की जरूरत होती है स्पेशली लेकिन कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती है जो अपने करियर और उन सबसे थोड़ा गाइडेंस जरूरी है इसमें तो हम कई बार आर्टिफिशियल ना करने चीजें बस मेरा कहने का पॉइंट था चलिए हरे कृष्ण पूजी आई थिंक वी कैन स्टॉप हियर पंच कल पत्र कृपा संतु पति नाम पावन भय वैष्णव भयो नमो नम श्री प्रभु पाद की जय वैष्णव जय हरि बोल थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्ण